Hello and welcome back to another How to Blog. Today I want to talk to you about knobs uh, because mine is broken. Look, let me show you. Now this is a cooker, it must be 25 years old if it's a day. Good cooker. It's, this one is a Bico, it doesn't really matter what make it is. And what happens is, is this doesn't work anymore. Why? I'll show you. Look, it's busted. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just showing you what I do in this situation, because it has happened before. Uh, this is a partial, a partial um, fix. So it's a temporary, a partial temporary fix until you can find some new knobs. Now they, they sell these on Amazon. I'm not these particular. I can't. I've got difficulty trying to get some of these ones exactly like that for for uh, this model of cooker, but. You can get ones and you can adapt them. They've got inserts in here. Anyway, I'll let you find out. But this, the point of this video is, the point of this video is to show you how I fix this situation because without that being fixed, you do, it just turns, it just keeps spinning like that, see? So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna get this thing here. I'm gonna open up the split. Sometimes it's just split a little bit like that. But what I'm gonna do is open up a bit more so I can get some glue in there. You see, can you see that? So that should be like that, you see, that's that's how it should be. And the knob just pushes on like that, but this is snapped off, it's, you know, it's age. So what we're gonna do is use some glue. Now use some glue that's suitable for hard plastic. Now this is PVC pipe glue, which is ideal for this. And what I'm gonna do, you can use a smaller brush, even better, is I'm gonna stick it in there like that. And then I'm gonna close up the gap as best I can. Sometimes that bit falls off, you know, hey ho, you stick it back on. So it looks like that. Okay, now you're thinking, well, is that going to be strong enough? Now I have found that just using glue is not enough. The glue will give out maybe in a week or, or a couple of weeks, 10 days or something, the glue will give up the ghost. So we're going to use these micro, um, oh, what do they call them? Plastic ties? Plastic, zip that's ties. it, zip ties, plastic zip ties, yep. And we're going to put these on. And we're going to put two of them, I'm going to put two of them on. Just to hold it in place. It keeps the, plus, it keeps the pieces that you're gluing together as they, as the glue set. So that's even best. Now what I'm going to do is going to push it up like that. Hope you can see that good, good on the, on the camera. Right, get it nice and tight. And then make sure it's as tight as it can go. Like that. And then we're going to snip the end off. Like that. And then we're going to push it down. So we can put another one on top of it. Do you get me? So we've got two. I mean, you could put three on there, I suppose, but I, I don't see the point in putting three on there. Let me just get a little spoon. So just to push that down. A little bit. Now it's important that, that I use small type, small ones, because what happens is, if you use big ones, it won't turn. It will, it will turn inside the hole. It's supposed to turn in. It will, it will, it will It's not going to work. It will jam. So let's, uh, let's use a green one here. Green for green is my lucky, my favourite colour. So let's put a green one in there. So this is the second one that's going in, and. Uh, Oh. The lucky one the it's not it's doing it without your glasses that's the problem I should have got my glasses first but anyway so you put that one on there like that again squeeze it in there right. put it tight again with a pair of pliers right. again it's a microscopic but it's a not it's a mini cable tie isn't it not microscopic mini cable tie and that's the back way. We want to leave that kind of like where it is, really. Now, what you must ensure is that you don't get any glue in there. So you, you've got to, you can't, otherwise it's going to set hard and you won't be able to push it back on to the, to the spigot. So you've got to have a look in there and make sure there's no glue in there uh, poking out. If it is, just get a cotton bud or, or something, that, some little thing, little screwdriver where you can just pick out all the glue. And when, when you uh, when you uh, when you're ready, when this when this works, you just get your 
knob and you push it on and there we have it now that's not going to last forever you know uh, but it's it, if you've got it allows you enough time I think will allow, will allow me enough time to have a look around to see if I can find um, some replacement uh, knobs for my cooker but anyway I hope you uh, thought, hope that helps somebody there get them out of a tight jam until they get some new ones and the new ones are not expensive you know that you can buy a full set like six of these for quite cheaply less than ten dollars euros pounds or whatever so worth getting and they're gonna last this is not gonna last uh, forever anyway Hope you've enjoyed it. I've got some, uh, let me see, cooking stuff up here, quick tips here, more DIYs and stuff down here, and if you want to subscribe to me, down there. So, 